GardenStateFightTeam.com here with Super Bantamweight Jorge King Diaz. Uh, Jorge's coming off of his first loss in a phenomenal bout last week against Tion Kennedy. Jorge, you came up just a bit short. What do you feel you could have done differently to get the victory? Um, I don't know. Hit him in his face more often? I don't know. <laughs> um, I don't really know. It was a good fight. Um, I thought I thought I might have pulled it off. Um, the you know the the two knockdowns didn't look didn't um didn't help. But even with the two knockdowns, judges had it you know scored you know real lopsided. So. You had fought uh, mostly six rounders. You had only one eight rounder under your belt, and you had a ten rounder prior to that, which you had some difficulty in. Kenny, on the other hand, has fought uh, in a bunch of ten rounders and was a USBA champion. Do you feel that maybe you took a, a step up too quickly to the twelve rounder because it looked like you were uh, a little bit tired at the end? Um, maybe, maybe I did, you know. Um, but if the queen had balls, she should be king. <laughs> We really, we really can't talk about that. Uh, um, you know, it was, well, I did the twelve. You know, I did the twelve. You know, I was tired because I was in a fight. <laughs> but you know, a terrific fight it was. Now, in that sixth round, Kennedy had scored a second knockdown. It looked like you were in some trouble, and a lot of people thought Steve Smoger should have stopped it at that point. Uh, realistically, how badly were you hurt in the last thirty seconds to you know minute of that last of the sixth round? Realistically, I was I wasn't uh I was I wasn't like gone. I was very conscious of what, what was going on. Um, I I knew everything that was happening. I just had got dropped, and my legs were still um like feeling funny, you know. Right. Um. But but I was I was very um uh, aware of what was going on. Like I was I was very conscious of everything. I knew that I just had got dropped, and I was even actually telling myself. Like, you know, he's about to come try to knock me out now and just keep your hands up and try to weather the storm. And that's what happened. And I think, I, I believe, um, I even had my moment after that in that round. Right. Would you consider a rematch in the future down the line? Because, you know, uh, all the fans were happy, the media enjoyed the fight, and actually your promoter uh, as well as Tion's promoter were very pleased with what happened. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's what I immediately asked for that. With my management, you know. Right. Um, I immediately asked that. Um, so we'll probably, you know, we'll, we'll hopefully, you know, we'll, we'll um, we'll make that fight happen again sometime, you know, in the near future. Very good. You are, as I mentioned earlier, you were in a grueling fight. You know, both you guys are taking some serious punishment. I know he had some stitches, you know, and you had to go to the hospital as well just to get checked out. Uh, how long are you going to be out of the gym for? Uh, you know, when can we possibly expect to see you again after such a grueling fight? Um, I didn't go to no hospital, but, uh, but, uh, but yeah, um, I, I, I should be back like in July or something. Okay. Now, are you going back to the gym, uh, I guess, in a month or so, or are you looking to fight again in July? I went to the gym on Sunday, the day after the fight. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. I'm hitting the back now. I'm messing around. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> never, never short of jokes, Jorge. Oh, man, I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, nah, man, I'm going to take like a month off, you know. Right. You've been fighting between 122 and 126. Uh, prior to fighting against Tion Kennedy, looks like your last four or five fights were at you know, around the 126 pound limit. Which weight are you more comfortable at? Uh, I don't know. I, I felt I, I felt good that day too. You know, right. I felt good. Maybe you know, I, I felt good at both weights. You know. Right. Jorge, thank you very much. You're a warrior. Definitely earned a lot of respect, even in defeat. Do you have any message in closing for your fans uh, and the people tuning into GardenStateFightTeam.com? Um, yeah, I want to thank everybody, you know, for coming out. I mean, if you were there, you knew how many how many uh, people came out to, to to come watch me fight. Uh, it's uh, it's real humbling, and thank thank you very much.